This will be a quick video on a project named CogVideo. It is capable of generating videos on a smaller GPU. We have these four options. First is text to video, which I am interested in. Second is video to video, which I was not expecting. Third is image to video, most of us may want it. Fourth is about extending a video. The memory used is around 7 gigabytes without any running task. I will try the image to video generation to check if it works and the VRAM needed for this. The prompt should be below 200 words and a detailed prompt gives better results. This says about the open AI key. If you are a paid user, then you can get the API key. The key can be used here to enhance the prompt for better results. Normally, these key look like random alphabets and numbers. I don't have one, so I will try with the free version. My prompt will be, a beautiful woman dancing. I will ask to enhance this to generate a video. You can ask to generate multiple prompts on a specific topic. For now, I will use this one prompt for testing. You can ask for more words while getting a prompt. Let's generate. This option will keep on generating video continuously. Now, it took me around 25 minutes to generate a 6 second video. It was surprising to see the video memory used was somewhere around 6 gigabytes. I can definitely say it can work below 8 gigabytes car. Also a 6 gigabytes owner can try this. Let's check the result. This is the first run for me as well. For me, the video is of no use, but we must consider a few points. The video is exactly the original image in motion. Also, a proper detailed prompt is needed. What I mean is, once we get a prompt from GPT, try reading it and make changes so the AI can understand better. Just note that older generation cards may not work at BFloat 16. You should change to Float 16. Next, I will try the text to video method. I will try the same prompt. Let's see what does it generates without an image. There is an option to select a bigger model, so I selected the 5 billion model. There is an option to increase the resolution and FPS. I will keep things at default. These are some of the videos and their prompts. As an example, let's generate. As we can see, the video memory consumed is around 6 gigabytes, and the time taken to generate video was 11 minutes. Let's check the result. The result is creepy. Now to check its capability, I can modify the prompt. But I need to make this quick. I will use the prompt and check if it actually works, the way it says. After 9.5 minutes, I got the result. Let's check. The result is good. The application does need a kind of prompt to generate good results. The feature we saw about FPS and resolution is worth applying on results like this. I gave the same prompt for reference and asked for a different one. I also tried the smaller model this time. It took even less video memory than before. The 2 billion model also gives good results. There are some flaws, but considering the resources it consumes, results are good. I will try the video extent option on the 6 second video generated just now. I got a modified prompt of an airplane flying in a loop. I tried generating the extended video by keeping settings as default. After 25 minutes, I got a Python torch error which I was not able to fix. The project is being updated daily, so it should be fixed. Short prompts may work sometimes, but it will mostly end up with bad results. Also, you will be wasting a good amount of time in case of bad results. Make sure to refer to the prompt from the demo. Let's look at the installation process, which is quite simple. If you are using Pinocchio, you can get it by a few clicks. 
I wonder if there is a way to get it running on AMD cards. This is not the original repository of the project, but the installation steps given here will be helpful for the viewers. Now, it recommends downloading Pinocchio from the given link here. You can get a one-click installation inside Pinocchio. This is the original repository of the project. I will share the link in the description. You will find more example videos generated, may be useful to some of you. Let's get back to the Pinocchio page for the installation process. Open CMD at the installation directory. Copy the clone command to get the repository in your computer. You need to have Git installed in your computer. Search Git for Windows. You should get the installable file from here. Hit enter after clone command and it will get the repository. You will see the folder generated in the installation directory. Next the CMD needs to change the directory. Just copy paste the command. Hit enter and you are inside the project. Now, we need to create a Python environment. Make sure you have installed the Python in your computer. It will exit once the environment is created. Now, we need to activate the environment. So the Python works inside this environment only. Now, we are inside the environment. Next, we need to install all the requirements for this project inside the environment. It may take some time and exit once done. This command will install PyTorch for Qt GPU. It may take some time, once completed, we can run the application. There is one more requirement. This could have been included in the requirement file we installed. This is the command to run the project, but I forgot to create this file. If we scroll up, this file mentioned here is supposed to be inside. Inside this folder. Open the file in the new tab. This is the file's content. To create a Python file, copy paste an existing Python file and rename the file as said. Now copy the file's content from here and open the new created file in Notepad. Paste the code you copied and it's done. Save the file and try the last command. This progress bar you see needs an internet connection. And the application is running. If you press Ctrl and click this local IP address, it will open the browser and the application's interface. Let me know if the application was interesting to you. I have come across a few more such applications. Would you like such video on different projects?